Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. So basically today we will start our new course module, Google Earth Engine User Interface API. So basically in this online training program, I will try to discuss all of the Google Earth Engine User Interface API function and also try to show you that all of the basic web application in google earth engine platform how you can easily work with the google earth engine api and develop the different types of web application using the google earth engine platform okay so basically today i will try to discuss about a user interface api mainly button okay how you can easily create the button on google earth engine api and also uh, work some of the button okay so i just simply open my code editor okay so basically uh in this platform google earth engine platform we can do different types of web application different types of widget different types of panel different types of user interface we can easily create and develop our model web application model for remote sensing analysis so i just simply go to the docs tab and when i simply write here ui and find out all of the user interface function under the ui so you can see ui so here i can get all of the function for user interface user interface button user interface chart user interface array user interface chart feature user interface chart dot image uh, also you can see user interface chart so lot of user interface function is available so i will try to discuss all of the function with their practical example as well as also develop some web application in google earth engine platform okay you can see that the lot of function in here so today i will mainly try to discuss about this function ui dot button here you can see ui dot button okay this function i will try to discuss all of the argument and also try to show you the practical example of this function ui dot button okay so basically you can see when i click on here here i can get all of the information about this function so basically this is the ui button this is the function and this function has the total uh all of the argument you can see level on click disabled style image url so i will try to show you all of the things practically then i hope you can easily understand how you can easily use the fun uh, button function and also create the function uh, button okay so in this time you can see uh, i just simply write the function name ui dot button okay so this is the function so mainly when you can write any types of function in google earth engine platform we can get the uh, write the font bold color purple color okay so it means that it is a function okay so in this term ui it is the user interface okay so i want to add a button as a user who the any user can use this button in google earth engine application okay in this time here you can see ui dot button and i simply use here the parenthesis and here i can get all of the argument you can see so label on click disabled style image url so when i fill up all of the argument step by step then this button will be work so first of all you can see level so label is that name of button okay you can put any name as a button suppose i simply fill up all of the argument step by step i make a dictionary i simply start with the curly bracket and also in of the curly bracket so i create the dictionary and put here the keyword and key value so first of all label so label is a button name it can be any name you can put here so i just simply put this name suppose click here okay you can put any name in here okay it, it's identify the level name then also you can see another argument on click so mainly it's identify when you click on this button what happened so in this time it can be different uh argument you can add in here so in this time when you click this button what happened i can make a function in here so in this time i want to create a button when i click this button it print hello world okay for that i simply use a function function 
and uh, just put my argument print hello world okay then you also you can see another thing is that disabled so if when you can simply use here the false okay and then also use here the style i add the style later and also image url i also add this image url later okay in this time all of the things i just simply store it in a variable just i simply call a variable suppose this variable name is that pattern you can use any variable name okay so in this time all of the things i stored in a variable button okay so in this time i just simply print this so i simply print this button and click to the run okay in this time you can see our console tab is showing a button in here okay so when i can go to this cursor in here you can see it will be hover okay when i click here what happened when i click on this button it print hello world print hello world print hello world okay so in this time on click function in this time what you can uh, write the function any function you can add in here suppose you want to add any model anything any equation anything when you can click on this button it will be happened so mainly on click this is the keyword this keyword uh, identify what happened when you when you can click on this button what happened okay and you can see in this time this button i add in the console but i need to add this button in this map okay i want to add this button in this map so i can easily add this so for that i just simply use a function it's called the map dot add okay basically this is the map this map i want to add a add this button on this map i want to add this button so just i simply call this variable name and paste and click to run in this time you can see I can get it wrong in here it's showing that widget cannot be added to a uh, to a panel if they have been printed in the console okay so for that in this time i just simply commenting this line and click to the run again in this time you can see i can get a button in here but when i click on this button it's showing the result in the console you can see hello world friend hello world friend okay okay so in this time i want to add here the some style so i want to increasing the height width of this button i want to add here the different types of background color different types of font size i want to add in here so for that i need to add here the some argument in here for the style so just i simply increasing the weight so i can simply go to the style and then put here the width success I put this width such as uh, 100 pixel then click the run in this time you can see it also increasing okay so i also use at the 400 pixel you can see now i can get this button look like this okay so you can easily add here the different types of color so if you want you can add here the background color okay so suppose in this time i simply use here the another argument or another style argument is that i simply use at the background color okay. so i simply put this background color such as um, pink color okay. you can use any color and click the run in this time you can see it's showing the background color as a pink color okay so if you want you can also add here the an other border also in here suppose i just simply add here the border of this button so just I simply use at the border and put here this border size. So I simply put here the border size is that five pixel border size I want to add. And then you can use here the I would have this border type is the solid I want to add. And I also add here the border color. So I can simply use here the border color such as uh, green color. Okay. Then click the run. So now you can see it also created the 
border type pixel border and also it's solid okay if you want you can also add here the dot line or other types of uh, style you can easily add and also use here the green color so that's why it looks like green color okay and when i click on this button what happen you can see it's showing the hello world okay when suppose in this time i simply commenting this line and just simply print this button click to the run you can see now this button i can add under the console tab but when you want to want to add this button on the map then you need to remove this code print and then open this and click to the run so now you can see this button is also added in here okay and click to here i can get the result okay so also you can see disabled in this time i use here the false false means that in this time it will be working but when i want to put here the true you can see i just simply use here the true and click to the run and when i click on this button there is nothing happened you can see i click here there is nothing happened i click here there is nothing happened okay in this time it's disabled this button is not work so i can simply use here the false and click to the run in this time when i click on this button you can see it's showing the hello world okay so this is the process when you want to make the button okay and we can use the button for different types of uh make the different types of operation or make the different types of option you can easily add using the button so in this time you can see i can create the button in here okay in this time this button when i click here i can get the result hello world but I, in this time i also add here the some other function also add in here so for that i just simply call this button simply copy and paste here and i use here the function this function is the on click function so on click and click okay it means that when anyone click on this button what happened so in this time i also add here the another thing such as i simply use the function function and this function i simply put my argument is that print such as welcome okay so in this time you can see what happened i click to the run again in this time okay so it's showing the button click on click is not a function okay so that we can simply already add this so i simply use add the print and then put here this will come and click to the run so in this time you can see when i click to the run you can see showing the print hello world and also print the welcome together okay so this is the way when you want to add this and you can also you can see callback function we can easily use the callback function callback function means that on click when i click on this button what happened okay so next time we also try to discuss about the ui chart ui feature all of the things we can discuss and also try to show you that all of the web application how you can easily use the different types of web application and using the google Earth engine platform for your remote sensing analysis and how you can easily make the different types of remote sensing web application in google earth engine platform so here you can see here i already uh, create the some web application using the google earth engine platform view gallery here i can get all of the web application which i already work here you can see agriculture drought in right fan at trial in in the area of the provincing also you can see bangladesh drought monitoring bangladesh evi ndvi value trend inspection here so i simply open the some web application also you can see water quality is just i simply open this then try to show you that how it will be work also you can see leaf area index time series mean visualization this is another types of application and chart any over time so outdoor monitoring agriculture drought okay just i simply open some available and try to show it suppose you can see this is the web application in this web application you can easily identify for any specific location what is the trend of the evi and ndvi so just I simply click on here you can see i can get the specific coordinate of this flyers and also get the trend line what is the condition of the ndvi and evi for this flyers we can easily understand okay you can see 
what is the trend of the EVN DVI from this application and we can easily download it the data from the CSV file format and also download the chart as a PNG file format also you can see water quality monitoring application so in this application uh, we can easily add here the date slider so in this date slider we can easily add here the suppose I simply uh, put my specific time period in here suppose I simply put this time period and I can easily draw my ROI and then set the value suppose turbidity can click to the run so now it displays the what is the condition of the turbidity for this lake we can easily identify you can see and it also provided the time series chart of the turbidity when this turbidity is the high and low we can easily identify and also provide you we can see the animation of the turbidity also you can see that chlorophyll and click to the submit so now i can get the result what is the condition of the chlorophyll and we can also get the time series chart you can see okay suppose i want to add here this total suspended solid and submit so now i can get the result what is the condition of the total suspended solid and also it created generating the chart okay you can see when it will high and low and also get the animation of the gap animation in here okay so also you can see the sentinel 2 rgb or true color composite of the sentinel 2 imagery we can easily add in here for this leg and we can easily generate the thumbnail of this web application okay also you can see the another web application is that um leaf area index so in this application we can easily draw our polygon we can easily draw our polygon and then we can easily observe what is for this polygon what is the status of the leaf area index and also get the time series chart you can see okay also you can see this is another web application for the bangladesh growth monitoring using the standard vegetation index or sbi so i think some networking issue also again another application we can easily uh, select our specific region which district you want to monitor the drought you can simply uh, select the district suppose i want to need the drought monitoring for this region so i simply select this and you also can select your time period which time period you want to need and you can which index you want to use in here so you can simply select the index suppose spi vci uh, pci sbi vsi so i simply say vsi and also you can simply set the run so now it automatically generating the what is the condition of this drought uh, moderate severe high and also extreme uh, hazard index you can easily get for this region and also get the time series chart okay for it also many classified the growth hazard index extreme dry severe dry moderate dry normal and wet and also generating the time series chart of this dry okay so different types of web application we can easily uh, create it uh, using the google earth engine platform for remote sensing analysis so in this online training program i will try to show you that all of the function in google earth engine platform uh, for the user interface function how you can easily create it, the different types of user interface function in google earth engine platform and also develop the different types of remote sensing web application okay so okay so today is no more thank you for watching and if you have any question or any doubt you can just comment write the comment section i also try to answer all of the question okay okay thank you for watching